Hello everybody. Um, so after the European victory, um, I'm I'm going to look at some uh, some newspaper articles um, talking about you know nuclear, and I'm, I was particularly interested in finding out what the Germans would make out of it. So um, I've got this German article now. I have to be honest, I can speak German. But I'm not fluent in German, so um, I'm not even fluent in English, by the way. <laughs> so, but in any case, so um, I've put this thing through the Google Translate uh, app, and uh, I'm going to read it. And so, this is my first response to it. I will uh, put a link in the description below if you want to read it for yourself. In any case, so here we go. Um, Green nuclear fission. The European Parliament wants to significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions in the EU, a demand of the Greens. Nevertheless, many of them voted against the resolution on the climate change conference in Madrid. Why? Um, okay, uh, let's see. And this was written by Marcus Becker. Uh, okay. If it comes to the European Parliament, there is no longer just a climate change. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, I have to tell you, that because, you know, this does translate a little bit wonky. So it's <laughs> at some, some points it might seem a little strange. Um, there is no longer there is no longer just climate change, but a and not a climate not not a climate crisis but a climate emergency at least that's what the majority of MEPs decided on Thursday however the resolution was not enough for the greens they criticized that parliament had not committed to concrete steps and immediate action the more remarkable was the course of another vote which was indeed about concrete steps in the area of climate protection. The European Parliament resolution on the UN climate change conference in Madrid, which starts next week, uh, the far-reaching resolution was passed by a large majority and Christian and Social Democrats and Liberals voted almost in favor. Okay, By contrast, the majority, the majority were calculated to Greens um this is this is the wonkiness of german to english german i i i think that german is, is the most wonky language of all of the ones that i can speak in any case um what the european uh, parliament demands from the madrid climate change conference unlike the climate change debate is not just symbolic parliament must approve international agreements so that they can enter into so that so that they can enter into force, basically meaning uh, they can they, they they start being enforced, and it also speaks with the laws for their implementation, uh, basically meaning you know uh, signing it into law. Uh, the resolution also has its central point. Parliament is now officially calling for EU greenhouse gas emissions to be cut by 55% by 2030 compared to 1990 levels. This is not just a massive increase in the previously valid reduction of 40%. I, I would suspect a but there's a, there's a point. The Parliament thus takes over the position with which the Greens moved into the European elections into the summer. So that's okay. Um, I mean, I agree with the Greens on this point. I mean, um, climate change is real. Uh, our influence on it is real. The way things are going now, um, it's going to spell uh, a lot of trouble, especially for people in the tropics, but also in the subtropics. Um, you know, life is going to be less hospitable in those areas. And once the proverbial shit hits the fan, um, you know, people are going to move. And uh, the, the trouble that we saw in Syria with all its refugees is going to look like child's play when people in Bangladesh or in India are going to move. And um, 
So, so, and, and here's, here's, here's my, uh, my take on it. Climate change is already unstoppable. Uh, we should do our utmost best to mitigate whatever damage we can do or, or whatever damage we have done. But also, very important, we also have to create resiliency, especially in the tropics. Most of the poor people, or at least a, a large portion of the poor people, live in the tropics, in the subtropics. And these people um, are not resilient enough to with, withstand and wither the you know changes that will be coming uh more pronounced droughts uh water stress you know crop failures those kind of things so uh these people really need to be their 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 resilience resiliency has to be boosted by shoring up their electricity production their energy consumption etc these people need to start using more not less and they have to become more affluent, uh, less poor, having availability to have, having the availability of more fresh water, which means desalination inadvertently, whether you like it or not. And um, yeah, it's going to cost. It's going to cost a bunch load of money, effort to get there. So I, I agree with the Greens on that re regard, but that's not what we what we're reading this article for um the greens fraction split into the fraction top let's see grünen fraktion gespalten bis die fraktion spitze i don't know what that means nevertheless 46 greens voted against and only 15 voted in favor and two abstained and uh, this is the meat of the of the article the crack even went right through the top of the group the German, Ska Keller, was against the resolution. Her Belgian co-faction leader, Philippe Lamberts, was against. According to group sources, the reason was not that the reduction target of 55% was too low. Since last week, the Greens demanded a minus of 65%. No, it was something else. Nuclear power. And this is, this is exactly what is happening so the greens they have adopted this narrative that you can only uh, save the planet if you reduce co2 emissions uh, reduce energy use and stop nuclear power and this is a paradox stopping nuclear power does not help the climate one bit so it's a it's a it's a paradoxical um, outdated uh feeling that these people have i mean why would you try to stop the biggest force currently the biggest force in europe against climate change because nuclear power is the largest supplier of clean energy in europe the biggest so why are they hell-bent on trying to kill it we don't know but in any case so this this whole thing put forward by them is now being uh shot down by them because people have introduced them an amendment to to make the resolutions in uh, to make the resolution say nuclear is good instead of bad so let's let's read on okay, um in the course of the negotiations a change found its way into the text of the resolution which states that nuclear energy could contribute to the achievement of climate protection goals. Finally, it does not emit greenhouse gases and could contribute a significant part of EU electricity production. The resolution also calls for a medium and long-term strategy to tackle the issue of radiant waste. But that nuclear energy should be declared environmentally friendly was evidently too much for most green MEPs. The political competition took advantage of the steep template. Promptly, Daniel Gaspari, head of the CDU slash CSU group in the European Parliament, described the voting behavior of the Greens as incomprehensible, and I absolutely agree. Group leader Keller had supported the resolution together with the Christian Democrats. All other German Greens called the climate emergency and then re uh, refused the implementation, said Gaspari. Thus, the Greens are completely unbelievable. 
Keller reproaches the Christian Democrats for their part that they are sitting in a glass house because they have rejected concrete climate protection measures in the emergency resolution. For the Greens, however, the question of nuclear power threatens to become a perennial dilemma, the, pol the potential gap of which grows the importance of the climate debate. On the one hand, there are those who are critical of nuclear power, but consider immediate climate protection more important than the immediate end of all nuclear power plants. On the other hand, there are those who either consider nuclear power to be devils themselves, or are afraid of the parts of their electoral base that think so. And this is exactly right. This is exactly right. But there's also a third one, and that's uh, Greens who are not critical of nuclear power and want to make it the cornerstone of, you know, the future, which is me. I consider myself a green. Uh, I love nature. I think that nature should be protected. Um, you know, I think that human civilization and nature should be decoupled from each other, which is, in my opinion, a very green position to hold. And I think that nuclear energy protects nature the most, not just by being low CO2 uh, and having almost zero emissions, say for some water vapor, but uh, more importantly, the footprint it has is so tiny. Sure, a nuclear power plant looks vast, but a nuclear power plant is basically a huge volume of energy concentrated in a tiny, tiny, you know, footprint that is uh, that is unrivaled. I mean, it, you know, coal and gas, sure, the plants themselves are, you know, comparable to nuclear power plants, but the input is gigantic it's gigantic you need to keep burning you need to keep digging up coal and keep digging up coal and the results of which you can see in germany for instance where there are these huge craters man has dug up uh just to get to the brown coal these craters are bigger than the island of manhattan for instance and um you know and wind and solar aren't the best alternatives either because they have such a low energy density you need loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of them in order to so basically it all boils down to how efficiently can you gather your energy and put it to use and nuclear power is basically the best option out there and i i consider myself the third green uh uh, group. So the Germans, they think there are two uh, people who are critical of nuclear power, but consider immediate climate protection more important than the immediate end of all nuclear power plants. And the other ones are basically, we hate nuclear, period. Let's, uh, let's do the final two paragraphs. The nuclear issue has been driving the environmental movement for a long time. In tw 2007, for example, uh, pioneering thinker James Lovelock called for an end to green romance and a massive expansion of nuclear energy to protect the climate. Similarly prominent climate scientists comment, the, uh, com comment as well. The US climatologist James Hansen described in the interview with Der Spiegel the nuclear phase out as a big mistake for the world and accused environmental organizations to hold on for some irrational reasons to their anti-nuclear attitude. Other researchers reject nuclear energy as a climate solution. Too dirty, too dangerous, too slow to expand. At the same time, however, the debate is about a lot of money. If nuclear power is classified as climate friendly, it could give up Oh, let's see. Access to the M. And then there it cuts off for some reason. Uh, let's see. Next one. Okay. From the United Nations Climate Fund, something similar is happening at the EU level. According to The Spiegel, the research ministers of the EU, EU member states that want to discuss a decision in Brussels on Wednesday in which nuclear research is described as a possible contribution to the transition to a climate neutral energy system and not just EU funding 
millions, but from 2022 might also get energy loans from the European Investment Bank. So the funny thing is, they they just ju in the last paragraph they ju just opposed, uh, juxtaposed uh, Lovelock and Hansen with unnamed scientists who disagreed with them, as if there's some parity between the two. Um, and the last uh, paragraph basically says that um, the EU Parliament is going to uh, classify nuclear as green, which means that. Um, the EU investment bank can uh, can uh, provide loans for nuclear uh, programs. So in any case, I think it's a it's a very good good article, uh, typical for Dutch uh, Der Spiegel, um, a much less anti nuclear than they used to be. So um, we are starting to see the cracks. We are starting. Uh, we are starting to see the re-emergence of nuclear on the European table uh, beyond Hinkley Point C, Flamanville and uh, Oak Luoto. Um, France just uh, announced uh, six new power plants. Uh, also Normandy, which is a province of France, has announced that they want to be, be host, they want to have the first EPR2. Um, which some people say is uh, is is being branded uh, a little bit wonky, and I agree. Um, in any case, I, I, I'm optimistic at this moment. Uh, thank you all for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.